This is why I hate Khaled. Where did you come from? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, he dodged me. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Calm down, calm down. He just came out of that little tower out of nowhere. I'm trying to get my loot. What the fuck, man? You're not even supposed to be out here. You're like a major boss. What the fuck? God, I hate these guys and their little dexterity. And they're so flexible. I'm kinda jealous. Why can't I move like that? Shit. Come on, come on. Holy shit. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Calm down, drink. Alright, come on. Ah, he knows I dodge too. Little shit. You can't dodge that, can you? Yes! Woo! Oh my god. I gotta calm down after that. Alright, let me get my loot. My loot. Mine. Alright. So I'm about to show you guys a little secret path how to get to Lindale. Um, if you see this little tower over here to the right of me, that's how you get to it. So you get up to the top of the tower and go to this uh, boss room. You can run past most of the enemies, but you're going to end up here at the, I think it's called a Manga Magna Worm or whatever. And uh, it's a dragon. So it may give you a dragon heart, but you're going to have to like, uh, yeah, it's one of these guys. So kind of suck. This one's different from the one in Khaled. It's the Magma Worm Makar. Um, you have more space in this boss fight than the one in Khaled, but, uh, it's still, I wouldn't call it difficult. I mean, I beat it first try, and I think if I can beat it first try, you can beat it first try. Um, just use a summon. If, if you're not a magic build, and we can't really do summons like I can, uh, use Rod or something. You want to stay in close, and use your spacing wisely. And, uh, it wouldn't hurt to use a shield, too, if you, like... Don't really have very much power because just to block both of his attacks. His sword can be very, very heavy hitting. Um, but as you can see, my Night Flame sword is putting it work. So if you have that, or if you have another special sword that could work, and you just keep on whacking. Come on. Oh my god, and watch out for the magma because that shit's like deadly as fuck. I always hated in Khaled how he would just like spread the magma around. And you wouldn't have any space to move, and then he'll just like charge you. And he does that. This one apparently stands on his feet. The other one didn't stand on his feet like this. So, uh, yeah, definitely different dragon. Pretty cool though. I like how they like add different details to different enemies, even though it looks pretty much the same. Alright, now if I can just stab it in the ass. Oh, that stunned it! Oh, Bruce, you stunned it! Good job, Bruce! Alright, take this hands. Yes! Woo! Alright, almost got down. Oh, wait. It didn't hit it. Shit. Brutus, where you go? Alright, just me. Fuck. Alright, come on. Come on, asshole. Come on. Brutus usually doesn't disappear this fast. I don't know if it's, I did something wrong. He took too much damage, but he usually don't disappear this fast. Holy fuck, what is he doing now? What was that? Did he just slide on the water? Bruh. You telling me he can slide on water, but every time I get in the water in this game, I die? Oh, you're breaking your own shit, dude. How you feel? Take this knife to the face. These knives actually come in handy. I know it sounds, uh... They don't do the most damage, but... As far as, like, damage from afar... They're kind of faster than arrows. I don't always like using arrows in, like, close-in fights like this. Okay, let's see if this St. Trian Sword do some work. I want to see if it can put him to sleep. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the St. Trian Sword... Hasn't put anyone any one dragon to sleep yet so it may not work on dragon I'm not sure how many times I had to hit the person cuz I'm whacking him now and I'm not sure if he's gonna get drowsy or not I don't think he has no he's not getting drowsy so I mean it's my abilities on I haven't been hit yet so it should be working on him but uh yeah dragons this sword does not work on for some reason I mean go figure that's okay though cuz I have taken him down how you feel and you apparently get the Magma Worm Skill Sword, so enjoy that. And the Dragon Heart, see? Alright, so after this fight, you want to come over here to this bonfire. Make sure they like to use it before you leave. Um, And there's going to be an area over to uh, this little area over here by the little fire. They're going to use to get the Lindale. I'll about to show you right quick. Alright, come over here. I looked through all this whole area to see if there was like another item or something hidden, and apparently there wasn't. So just come up here, and you're going to find this little uh, elevator or whatever you call it. Take it up, 
And I thought you actually needed those two uh, scales. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But there's two scales in the game you can get to take uh, another passage to get to Lindale. I thought that was the only way. But I stumbled across this. I was like surprised as hell that this was a way to get to Lindale. And to be honest, when you get out here, you don't probably, you probably don't want to fight anything because you're going to be under level as fuck. Um, the enemies are all strong, and this is honestly the dragon where, uh, this, this is the area where the white, uh, electric dragon is. I don't know how this, I don't know the official name of the dragon. But, uh, yeah, you don't want to fight that guy yet. You, you just don't. He's too powerful. Alright, so we're in the Atlas Plateau. Um, basically by Lindell. So this is like the area leading up to Lindell, but typically the same area. Alright, yeah, don't fight these guys. You can see over there. Instead, come on here to this boss fire and, um... Take a seat. Chill the fuck out, because you just got your ass beat by a dragon. Alright, so I forget where I am in this uh, part. I think I'm in by the lakes in Leonia. But uh, I'm looking for the daggers. The little daggers that like strengthen your HP and your FP well, with uh, every critical hit you do, which is basically a backstab. Now, I think this Black Knife Assassin has it. I'm not sure. Let's see. I figured he was an easy boss, so I'm not going to use any kind of uh, summons just yet. Ooh, but you nimble. I heard the Black Knight's assassins in this game have some kind of lore. Um, and I also thought at first that Melina was a Black Knight assassin, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Come on, man. Fight back. Now, I know for some bosses, the St. Trina Sword works better with... Uh, Let's say maybe three hits to a boss. If I get hit once, it kind of like de-aggro's my ability, but it should work. Oh, he's dead. All right, now what do you give me? All right, see the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. That one strengthens your, uh, well, it increases your F HP upon a critical hit. So make sure to put that on. And you get a Death Fruit. What the fuck is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? Like, you got freaking Nightcrawler over here with a freaking Lightning Sword. I don't even know if that's Lightning Sword. He's like, no, that's a Holy Sword. Holy shit. And a shield and all gold. What the fuck am I fighting right now? What is this shit? What is this? Like, he's teleporting? Why can't I teleport? I don't know many other creatures in this game that can teleport. We don't have that ability. I'm surprised. I mean, we can do the Bloodhound step, but that's more like a Shinigami uh, Death God type shit. Like, Ichigo or something, but he can straight up teleport. That's teleportation. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off and I'm mad. What the fuck? I want that ability and I want that goddamn shield. Take this Kamehameha to the face. Come on. And he keeps doing it. God, that's such a dick move. Ah. Alright, so now we're at the Black Knife Catacombs. Let's see what we can find in here. Another boss. Let's see. Alright, another Black Knife Assassin. Oh, no shock there, it's a Black Knife Catacombs. So this is a catacombs are apparently full of assassins and skeletons. And a bunch of evil. No shocker there! What the fuck? Oh, shit! I've seen that attack before. I forget what it does, but I think he, he put some kind of weird effect on me. My health isn't draining. Well, screw it. I don't know what he did. I'm confused as fuck. This guy is nimble! Nah, you just a weird boss just gonna like catch me off guard and kill me in, like a couple hits if I let my guard down, so fuck you, man. Take this coming out to the face. Feel it! Feel the burn! Feel it! Yeah, you stuck in the corner, what you gonna do? And that's what you get! Woo! Alright, Assassin's Cruelty Knife and Black Knife Print. What do we have in here? Oh shit, that's voodoo, that's a demon. Holy shit, I don't like that. Why is it all black? What is that? All in the shadows and shit. And some of skeletons! What the hell? Oh my god, right to the face! Yo, this is nightmare fuel. What the fuck? I ain't gonna worry about the skeletons. Like, screw the skeletons in this fight. They're all just gonna get back up after I kill them anyway. So, this guy's gonna be the main offense. Brutus! Brutus, put in work! Oh my god, he getting his ass wrecked! What the fuck? Brutus, I thought you were number one! Bruh, he's getting wrecked. What the fuck? Take this coming here, man. Alright, that did it. Nice. What did he give me? Oh, the twin stage social acid. Nice. 
Alright, the Celia Crystal Tunnel in Kaelid. Here's where it is on the map. And uh, basically I'm here because one of the bosses, the main bosses in this little area. If you've been in this area before, you pro you probably been to this area if you got transported at the beginning of the game by opening one of those chests. If you know, you know. Um, but these Fallen Star Beasts give you like, apparently smithing stones. And I want to use it to try to strengthen my Night and Flame Sword. So let's see. Holy shit, I got wrecked. What the fuck? Did he just go through the door? Oh, apparently not. Okay, see, so bulls are a little bit, uh... They're a little bit aggressive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Be fighting them in a small area like this is kind of dangerous. Because he can do all this. All this bullshit. So, I, you know, again, I strongly recommend a summon. But you don't have to do a summon. Um, I'm not sure if Rock works on them because he's all crystal. Or whatever. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Okay, he's all crystal. But... The only try I have is basically move out of the way. Range attacks work a little better. So if you have an incantation or a, you do sorcery, um, one of those, like, I guess, glenstone shard, blast, or whatever, can really help in this fight. Because fighting him head on with a sword, you're just going to get hit constantly. And he does a lot of damage. Holy shit! Oh, he didn't hit me. He's pretty, he pretty much telegraphs most of his moves pretty well, except for that tail swipe. Christ. Now me, as you can see, I'm going to use a Black Flame uh, incantation. This ability does some good uh, lingering damage for a short bit. Uh, once you hit an opponent, it does damage, and then it basically like does a couple, a little more lingering damage. I'm not sure how long it lasts, only for a couple of seconds really, but it's a very, it's stronger than the regular fire in the game, so it's very useful. Especially on bosses. And that right there is some bullshit. Get him, Brutus! Get him! Put in work! Oh, they didn't kill Brutus? Nice! Come on, Brutus! Is Brutus dead? No, he's not dead. Come on, Brutus! Come on! And Brutus is finally dead. Hey, he's turned his attention to me. Come on, man. Come at me. Come at me! Come at me! I ain't no bitch! I ain't no bitch! Holy shit, you missed! How you feel? You missed! Little shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, calm down. Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, that hurt. Oh, my ass. And as you can see, summer stone, smith of stone, gravity stone chunk, and the minor bell bearing. All right. So we got another one over here. This one is by uh, Lindale. As if you know, you know, it's there by the, the, the stairs before you get to Lindale, where you see the twin tree sentinels this is where that is this is to the side of that um you'll have to fight some enemies beforehand maybe some i think they're witches or somehow uh they're praying to this thing but uh, they're not too hard and this one is a little better to fight because it's a little better of an open area and no other bosses or no other enemies should interfere after you kill the main ones the main enemies in this area so you know free reign on this one and just like the other one he should drop a somber smithing stone or a smithing stone. Very helpful for like upgrading materials, well upgrading special weapons to begin with so definitely fight this boss. Um, he'll prove to be aggressive like the, the next one. The ones um, ow! Holy shit! As you can see he does a bunch of damage but that's okay. Uh, the ones close to the Lindale are expected to do more damage because you know, new area new boss, uh, stronger even though it's literally the same. Right now, I'm using the Be Still Vitality. Apparently, that ability slowly regenerates my health when I apply it to myself. Oh, and I finally got this little dragon ability. It's awesome. I should have got the Rot, the Dragon Rot, or whatever it's called. But I got the Dragon Fire instead. Alright, he killed Brutus. So I'm going to utilize this Black Flame. Only because he charges like that, and honestly, to get off my horse the torrent helps a lot but if I really want to fight them I, I probably wouldn't get off my horse like and hit them with a sword constantly like having to get close to them just sucks so this this is a nice way as you can see it does a lot of damage well not a whole lot but enough enough that if I keep doing it for a long amount of time it'll put in work now I do suggest that you upgrade your uh, incantation uh, I, forget, I forget what it's called. It's some kind of incantation utensil that lets you do incantations, but upgrade that. I think I've upgraded mine to at least level, uh, I want to say 10 or 5. I'm not really sure, but it's, it's upgraded. And um, 
you can basically put this boss to sleep. Pretty simple. I'll be on the first try. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all the information for this boss. It's kind of aggressive, uh, like I said before, but uh, just watch out for that and don't get cocky. Don't get greedy, and you'll do fine. Come here, bitch! I'm gonna get me some summer stones today. Some knives would work great in this area, too. And as you can see, you just want to keep moving. Come at me! Come at me with your shit. Let's see, you'll charge like three times. Here's a third one. If you fake them out, you can basically easily miss all those charges, but just don't get too nervous or like stand still. Well, actually, no. You can actually pretty much stand still and miss some of them charges. I'm pretty sure because I tried it before. He'll do that little rock throw. Dodge that. Doesn't do too much damage if you're high enough level. And you want to be close if you want to do like, well, I don't know how close you want to be. If you're using an arrow, you probably wouldn't use the arrow for this boss. But if you're using an incantation, you kind of want to be at least a little closer than I was at the moment. Alright, he's almost dead. Come on. I feel like I use this ruin arc. These can be very useful in a fight, so don't uh, don't sleep on these. These are actually very useful. It strengthens all my attributes. Come on. Come on. Yeah, see, he's very easy to read. Alright, time to end this. This is it! Hell yes! Woo! Alright. 